Okay, let's learn about the if function. The if function is a special function in Excel. There are many times that you want to calculate something or do something that only a certain condition is true or false. An example might be this one where you have a, uh, a sale from a supermarket and if the total amount of the sale is more than $100, you want to award 10 bonus points. Another example would be if you're calculating pay for someone and you pay them overtime. So if they work more than 40 hours, meaning they got overtime, you want to calculate a different uh, rate on the amount over the 80 hours. So all of these situations require an if function. The if function is pretty simple. Uh, you put equal if and it has three arguments. The first argument is called the logical test. And it's going to be a test that will work with the relation operators that are introduced in the chapter greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. So in this case we want to check is the total sale, so we put a reference to that, is it greater than 100? So I use the greater than symbol. So that's the first parameter to the if function or first argument, comma. And then you have two values. These can be fully full formulas or references to other cells or just a number. The first value is what this cell or the formula if will return if the test is true and the second one is what will be returned if the test is false. If the uh, total sales is more than 100 we want to return 10 points else we want to return 0 points. We put 10 points comma 0. Close the parentheses and that's it. That's the if function. So let's test it. We have $65 now. It says you have 0 points. Let's do $101. You see it says 10 points, so you can see how it works.